Hello everyone, my name is Heather and this is my YouTube channel and today I'm going to show you two more simple easy Google tips, tricks, hacks, whatever you would like to call them to make your searching a little easier or maybe just something you didn't know. So you may or may not have known that if you do a search and you would like to define a word, if you just simply type in the word define and let's say that I want to search in define politics no matter what it is that you're looking for define. So you could easily type in thesaurus, dictionary, look at a dictionary, whatever the case may be. But no matter what we type in, if we do define colon politics, it's going to give us whatever that definition is. It'll be the very first hit. And typically you will get a definition. You will get it sounded out as well as a listening device to be able to listen to it if your speakers are on. And then you will get a full definition. This will work with any term. And so you could be able to use that. It typically in all of my videos, I search for teens, teenagers, as well as politics. And then as we can see, a teenager is typically defined as someone who is the age of 13 to 19 years old. You will also get synonyms and then you can also get translations. And so you can go and look at the term of translations. You can even see how long this term has been mentioned and the popularity of such a word and things along those lines. So that is one quick tip, trick, or hack. You may have already known that one. Perfectly fine. You're ahead. And another one that you might be interested in is if you would like to search in a specific website if you would like to actually search within a specific location for a term a search you can do that by typing in site colon and then doing so let's say that I might like to look in the site and this does mean you need to know the exact site so let's say that I want to look psychology today for teens teenagers, politics, I could use whatever I wanted to. And what this is going to do is it's going to look solely in the site psychologytoday.com for teens. And so immediately it starts showing me what's in Psychology Today, the blog, what's in their blog, their information, articles, information, all about what they three signs that your teen needs therapy, um, something, why are happy teens, what they do differently, of course, there are ups and downs about what people write, the brains, teen angst, all of those things along those lines. Let's say that we might like to look at BuzzFeed, a site that I like to visit because I like the videos. So let's say that I might like to look at BuzzFeed.com and politics. And so if I go into BuzzFeed, it's going to show me politics, both in the UK, the US, news, and so on and so forth. Now, typically, I'm only showing you the first search on a page. We know that there are typically many pages that all of these searches do show, but then we can see different videos, and you always know that you can look at news, videos. We might not want to see shopping and images. I'm going to do an entire video on images later. And so just ways to actually be able to hone down, look into and narrow your search. Once again, Google shows us items that are free, but we can narrow down our search to just one site, to what is in just one site, and also to be able to define things as well. So again, quick, short searches, ways to define your searches, ways to narrow down your searches. Hopefully this has been useful. If you like it, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks so much. More videos to come. Have a great day.